Have you wanted to bring a guest into your live stream or your recording into OBS? Introducing OBS Ninja. Hi, it's Stephen here from The Harvest is Ready. I hope you're all being empowered by God. Today we've got some new tools to try out that's called OBS Ninja. This will give you the ability to bring in a guest from another place into your OBS stream and make it nice and clean and tidy. Easy to use, easy to set up. So let's get into it. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go to OBS Ninja which is just here, OBS Ninja. That's OBS.NINJA. Okay, and then you'll get to this particular screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is what we're gonna do as a quick overview, is we're gonna create a room for our guests to join. We're gonna add ourselves, add the guest, and then we're gonna show you how to create a reusable invite link. So, but first, Let's get into what OBS Ninja is. What is OBS Ninja? OBS Ninja is 100% free, no downloads, no personal data collection, or no sign-in. You can bring video in from your smartphone, computer, or friends directly into your OBS video stream. So, there are some caveats here. Have a look at the site, OBS Ninja. There are some known issues, and they are with Mac OS, and you need the latest version of OBS, which is at 26.1.2 at the time of doing this video. If you've got any pixel smearing, you can use the VP9 codec or H.264 codec, and I can show you how to do that. Wi-Fi is more problematic, so please use an Ethernet cable where you can do. Um, and of course, cellular data is going to be even worse. iOS devices may have occasional audio or camera issues, such as no sound or sound, so it's partly fixed in um, OS 14.4. And on Chrome and Android 11, uh, sometimes the browser will freeze up, lock up. You simply bring it to the background so that's pressing your home button and start it off again and you'll be good as gold okay so there we have it so let's have a look at it so what we're going to do is we're going to create a room so we click on the link we're going to enter a room name so you choose a new name the more complicated it is the better so we're just going to do that i'm going to put a password i'm going to make it very simple okay and it's still red okay saying it's not so good so let's put some extra Okay, there we go so we've got the the room name and the password is there okay so we're going to leave the preferred video code and then we're going to enter the control center see here if you put after obs if you put question director the shortcut code in here you can come to the screen directly so what we get here is quite simply we get we can invite a guest and we can use this url here to do that and we can add a guest. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a guest, which is going to be ourselves. So let's copy the link. We're going to open a new tab. We're going to paste it in here. We're going to add the password. Then we'll be prompted with this screen. So we're going to join with camera. Give us an option to do that. So we're going to bring our thing in here. And we're going to make sure that we send our audio to our headphones so make sure that you route the audio to a pair of headphones or something that you can use and monitor accordingly otherwise you'll get some exceptional noise maybe some feedbacks accordingly so here we go once we've done that we can press start and we've got our starter thing in here okay here we are now if we go back to the OBS ninja control panel we now have our, our video feed in this particular box in here. So once we've inputted it, we can see the preview window in this particular window here. Okay, so now that we've set up OBS Ninja, we've included our camera into the, the, the feed. Now we need to invite the guest. So we're going to use the create reusable link here. Okay, reusable invite. So we've got we've got some details put in here. I'm going to put call it Mr. Stephen. We're going to unlock the video 20 megabyte rate, and we're going to put the password in here. We need to make sure the room is right, and that room is not right. So we need to change to the correct room name. Okay, then we're going to create the invite link. Then we're going to switch over to our phone. 
which is just here, we are going to scan the QR code, copy the text, we're going to open, sorry for the coughing, Google Chrome, okay we're going to type that in again anyway, make sure it's right, when it prompts for a password, type in the password, and then you're going to be asked to join with camera on the screen. So you join with camera. So when you're ready, press start. So as you can see now, you can see two remotes. You can see the guest remote and my remote. Okay. So now we have successfully inputted a guest and we've specifically connected us. So now we can talk to each other. Okay, it's a little bit delayed, but it should be okay. Now, what's next? We need to be working on OBS. So let's go back to the control room. So as you can see now, we've got the two clients connected together. We've got the host and we've got the guest remote here accordingly. Now we need to work on the OBS setup. So let's cut down here. We look down below. We can see copy solo link so we want to copy that for the guest and we want to go over to obs accordingly so we've got a clean scene here and we want to add in a browser source okay so we go in here linux browser and we do obs guest We go OK, Type, paste in the URL that we got, they got from there, put in a suitable resolution, which should be the same width and stuff accordingly from there. Here we go. <coughs> now we've got that. We need to resize it. So let's bring in our camera. So we go to video capture device. Me. <laughs> and we're going to just use this camera here, which is fine. So then we can bring that in there. Stretch that out. We want to make that to the right width. So there we have it. We have two inputs, one from a guest over this side here and one from me. Okay. Now what we have also have to do is that we want to be able to share what is being outputted live so we can start the virtual camera. Okay. So when we start the virtual camera, we can go back to our OBS Ninja page and we can turn on the settings we can turn on the settings and enable OBS stream this will make a preview link now to all the other users and if we check the phone now you can see we've got three inputs okay we've got three inputs we've got one from the guest one from me and one for the OBS output you're, have you noticed one thing that's missing? We're missing the audio. So let's add that in now. 
So what we need to do is we need to add a, okay. The way this will work is that the output from your speaker, what you're listening to on your headphones, you need to select as your ad capture output device. So ca audio capture or output device. So you want to put that as guest. Okay. So it's an output source. So yeah, output dash incoming, right? Okay. You want to select where you redirected the audio to, which is in this case my USB handset because it has a nice little microphone out on it. So we do that. Now when we turn on the microphone on the on the phone, we can see the part the inf coming in. Okay, the sound has been redirected to to my headphones. So I'm hearing myself at the same time. It's a little bit quiet, so we can add some filters. So we can add a noise suppression. I like to add a compressor. And I like to in increase the sound about, about six. Okay, and then also I like to make sure by adding a limiter. Okay, and I like to take that up to a negative one. Close. Okay, so now we've increased the volume. If we want it higher, we can just increase the decibels on compressor. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. Now, for our audio, that's a regular microphone, so we can do. So we're going to do an audio uh, audio input capture. So we're going to USB mic. And we're going to again use the USB one because that's the microphone one. Again, we can add some filters, noise suppression, compressor, and the output gain will be about eight. There we go. Let's see, let's see. Okay. And we can add a limiter as well. Okay. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this one. Well, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's just run through the quick things that you need to do. To simply set up, you go to obs.ninja and you create a room you create a room name you create a password you share the relevant link give the relevant link and passwords you'll get the copy link address and then you can import that into obs now for the obs you use your own camera on your local one and microphone and everything like that you can share then your output to um, obs ninja as well using the camera virtual virtual camera um, so yeah that's about it so until next time you know, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you know, don't forget to subscribe to Facebook and Face Sources. And also, and also, remember, be empowered by God.